advances in modern medicine make it possible to treat more and more diseases successfully that people in earlier times could only dream of curing. The Elsa Kröner Fresenius Foundation has set itself the goal to increase this knowledge, revolving around the causes, diagnosis and treatment of illnesses to the benefit of mankind. Die Else Kröner Fresenius Stiftung wurde im Jahr 1983 gegründet. Seit dieser Zeit hat sie sich zur größten privaten Förderinstitution im Bereich der Medizin in Deutschland entwickelt. Wir fördern annähernd 2000 Projekte seit dieser Zeit. Das jährliche Fördervolumen liegt bei knapp 60 Millionen Euro. The Elsa Kröner Fresenius Prize for Medical Research came into existence in 2013 on the occasion of the 25th anniversary of Elsa Kröner's death. The International Prize is awarded in alternating fields of biomedical science. Endowed with 2.5 million euros, the prize is one of the largest in its sector worldwide. The prize has two aspects. We want to make a researcher who found a important discovery in a important field of medicine. We want to give the researcher the opportunity to make the möglichkeit geben seine erkenntnis weiterzuentwickeln und zu einem durchbruch in diesem gebiet zu kommen in recent years and decades research in the field of genome editing and gene therapy has led to new promising methods and approaches great progress has equally been made in the development of gene therapies which can be used to treat or even cure certain hereditary diseases disorders such as ADA skid. In the case of this rare immunodeficiency, which affects children and occurs about 15 times a year in Europe, a defective ADA gene within the genome disrupts lymphocyte development, leaving the body defenseless against infection. Without effective therapy, children rarely survive for more than two years. Standard for this therapy is a bone marrow transplantation. However, a suitable donor is not always available for every patient. Now, an alternative exists for these children in the form of a newly developed gene therapy. It's based on modifying the DNA of the patient's own living cells. To accomplish this, blood stem cells are taken from the patient and treated outside the body using a viral vector. This vector introduces the correct version of the gene for the ADA enzyme into the genome of the cells that were removed. Intravenous infusion subsequently returns the treated cells to the patient's bloodstream. The patient now has stem cells that function properly and produce lymphocytes to defend against infection, presumably on a lifelong basis. A crucial contribution to this success came from Alessandro Ayuti, director of the Pediatric Immunohematology Unit at San Raffaele Hospital in Milan. After successful clinical trials, the gene therapy developed for ADA skid patients was approved as a pharmaceutical remedy in Europe. It is considered to be one of the key findings in the development of gene therapies worldwide. Herr Ayuti war mit die Key Figur, um die Marktzulassung für ADAS Kit in die Wege zu leiten. Und er arbeitet weiter im Bereich vor allen Dingen der Gentherapie von äh, seltenen Erkrankungen. Also man kann eigentlich sagen, dass Herr Ayuti jetzt schon Wissenschaftsgeschichte geschrieben hat. Alessandro Ayuti was born in Rome in 1966. Since 1997, he has been active at the San Raffaele Telethon Institute for Gene Therapy in Milan, where he meanwhile also teaches as a professor at the Vita Salute San Raffaele University. Ayuti is a member of the board of the European Society of Gene and Cell Therapy and a member of the EMA Committee for Advanced Therapies since 2019. It is really a great honor for me to receive the Elsa Kröner Fresenius Prize. It's a recognition for 20 years of work for all the teacher team in gene therapy for genetic diseases. We really hope that the money prize will help in progressing research in gene therapy and gene editing. 
It is a really great emotion for us to see the children uh, to grow, to develop, to come back after gene therapy to our institute. For the parents, uh, we are probably more than doctors because uh, they celebrate the day of the treatment as a date of rebirth. It's like a birthday for them. We don't stop uh, when we have achieved something. We really know that there is uh, behind every child who has been successfully cured. There are also many others who still need an effective cure. Alessandro Aiuti has already achieved successes with a therapy for Wiscott Aldrich syndrome, another hereditary disease that affects the immune system. In 2020, the Elsa Kroner Fresenius Prize for Medical Research goes to Alessandro Aiuti for his outstanding achievements in the fields of genome editing and gene therapy. We wish the prize winner and his team continued success.